All right, Nick, let's talk about the Wisconsin Badgers. They have some big-time news coming in today. I think this is going to be a really huge addition to their program, and I think more players like this are going to start to look at Wisconsin in the future. My side, Kruthi, 100%. This is literally a massive addition to the Wisconsin Badgers. But before we get into the report there, Badgers fans got a really interesting question for you guys to answer in the comments section. We'll kind of a hard one here for you. Who is the greatest offensive lineman in Wisconsin Badgers history? There's been a lot of great linemen. Obviously, the Wisconsin is almost known for their linemen. But we're going to make you pick one. So give us who you think the greatest Badgers offensive lineman is in team history in the comment section below. All right, Miles, what you got? What's this latest news out of Wisconsin? Yeah, Nick, let's get right on into it. I'm going to bring up the story. This is from over on 24-7 Sports. Pope John Paul II offensive tackle Kevin Haywood had four official visits set for the month of June. He'll only need one of them, though, Nick. Following an official visit to Wisconsin this past weekend, Haywood opted to shut his recruitment down and commit on the spot to head coach Luke Fickle and the Badgers. Haywood also had scholarship offers from Alabama, Georgia, Southern Cal, Penn State, Notre Dame, Tennessee, Auburn. Nick, I can go through every top tier programs on here. Michigan, Miami, Stanford. He had them all. Anywhere he wanted to go, he could have gone, but he chose Wisconsin. The six foot seven junior had visits set with Kentucky, Auburn, and Southern Cal the remainder of this month, but said, don't need them. I know where I need to be, and that is a Wisconsin Badger. I love this, Nick. And let me reiterate. Six foot seven, 280, depending on who you're asking, 290 pound offensive tackle. This is, like you said, a massive addition to the Badgers. And I like to attribute where it is need to be given. And Colin Hitchler, the safeties coach, was instrumental in getting this guy. This is a guy who is a Pennsylvania native, a Penn uh, alma mater, uh, went to Penn Quakers as his college of choice. So this guy knows the Pennsylvania area. Uh, He was able to get over to Royersford, Pennsylvania, get a guy like Kevin Haywood. And this guy is a top-tier recruit, Nick. I think he has all the measurables to be an elite-level Wisconsin lineman. And then, as you said, they know how to breed these guys. They know how to make them to be the best of the best. So I think this is going to be a match made in heaven for everybody. But as our resident offensive line expert, Nick, I want you to tell us what do you think of Haywood And how do you think this is going to affect the Wisconsin program? Yeah, so I'm going to focus away from the details of the position grouping offensive line for a second to really focus on what Luke Fickle is doing right now. Because one of the biggest concerns I had when Fickle took over was going to be the identity shift from power Wisconsin football to spread game. Were they going to see some of the areas where they recruited well, like offensive line, for example, take a dip as they go through that transition? That normally is what happens in college football when you do a massive scheme shift. You recruited terribly at this, you recruited well in this one group, you recruited bad, uh, really bad in this other group. And as you shift, you have one group dip, the other one picks up, and it takes a while for it to recalibrate, right? This is just how it works in college football. It doesn't seem as if that's happening for Ficklin in Wisconsin. This guy's a great example of the fact that they're still able to recruit elite level offensive linemen at a national level to Wisconsin like they were before switching over to the spread offense. So again, I think that's a great sign that bringing in Fickle in this new offense actually won't hurt their ability to recruit offensive linemen. And obviously they're really good at recruiting and developing offensive linemen. So it's a great sign from that perspective. But number two, the other element of the Fickle hire that I thought was interesting is obviously Fickle from the state of Ohio, coach at Cincinnati, did a lot of stuff with Ohio State, was like, okay, would he open up a new geographic area for Wisconsin to pull talent from? Because obviously Wisconsin being in the Midwest, that's kind of the area they get a few national guys, but they really focus on that neck of the woods if they can tap into the state of pennsylvania and the state of ohio this team is going to get really really good really really quickly because the state of ohio and pennsylvania are two of the top 10 high school prospect states in the country i mean outside of the big guys like florida texas and california they're right in the next tier of guys with the, with states like georgia and, and louisiana that's how good ohio and pennsylvania is in terms of top flight recruiting talent so getting a guy from pennsylvania is kind of establishing a foothold in that state and potentially ohio as well obviously fickle has those connections i think it's a great sign for the long-term health of wisconsin because if they can continue holding their own in the midwest and doing their thing recruiting the state of wisconsin and if you add in the state of ohio and pennsylvania in there as well watch out this is a team that can very quickly rise to on talent level alone up to the michigans and the ohio states in the big 10 i really love what fickle is doing in the recruiting game for wisconsin right now and badgers fans should be really excited in the direction of this program yeah nick and i think with the latest addition of this four-star recruit that goes ahead and has 12 hard commits to this wisconsin 2024 
uh, football class and and now bumps them up to 15 overall yep. in the recruiting On rankings. Top. They're getting really good. They're getting very, very, very good fast, Nick. And I want to say this is not only the first guy they've gotten from Pennsylvania. This is the third guy they've gotten from Pennsylvania in this exactly. class. So exactly what you're saying, they know how to target the local areas. So I think this team has exactly what they need. They have the formula, the roadmap to success. And let's see if they can continue down this path going forward.